Today we are picking up our Acadia here. We're gonna take it to uh, shop. It does not start because there is some linkage something in the uh, console that needs to be replaced. I don't know, some part anyway, it's all I know. So we're gonna get this loaded up and drop it off over at uh, the shop the repair facility and see if they can monkey with it. It's not anything that we really felt like messing with. We have this winch here on the front of our trailer that is remote control. So Chris was able just to sit in the vehicle and with the remote control, maneuver the winch to where uh, the vehicle was exactly where we wanted it. And what a lifesaver that thing has been. Now time to strap it up and move on down the road. We only have about a mile to go down the road, so we put one strap on the back and it's hooked, locked in with the winch up front. We've got it hooked up to the Super Duty today. Now it's time to take it down the street. Well, that was an uneventful little trip down the road to the repair facility. Now time to get this unloaded. And hopefully it is as equally uneventful as the loading was. Now we are loading up the Cicadia again. This shop is a very fine shop, but the something has to be programmed that they can't do. So we're going to take it over to another shop and have them program the anti, what is it? What, what do they have to program? The theft the deterrent, theft deterrent system. system on it. We bought this from auction, so we don't know much about it. Uh, we do know it was in a little bit of a wreck. I mean, just enough to blow the tires. We think she, the woman, um, jumped a curb or something and broke, uh, the broke the shifter. So somebody, somebody somewhere started doing something with it and we don't know what, but we do know that it has to be programmed and we can't do that here. So we're going to take it on to the next place and get that taken care of. Well, we're back to pick up this Acadia. We originally had bought it at auction. We hoped that it would run, even though they said it wasn't running. It had a couple flat tires. Uh, it appeared to have been in a little fender bender, maybe just hit a curb or something. And so we were hoping it wasn't running because of that and that we would be able to get it fixed easy enough. So after having it at one shop for a while and they were too busy to get to it, we took it to another shop and they were thinking that the 
security control module something had to be reprogrammed and they didn't have the stuff to do that so we picked it up from that shop and brought it to another shop that we had called in advance to make sure that they could do what we needed we brought it out here they said we needed a new key made because the one that was with it was not uh, an original key they figured it was just a copy that was not programmed so they wondered if maybe that was an issue and so we got a new key made and in the process of looking at it our guys here at the shop put their hand on the uh, front of the engine it's seized up it's not going to run ever with any key new key so unfortunately this lemon is going back to auction we will disclose on there that it has a seized engine I'm not really happy about nobody disclosing that at the last auction we were at I mean they just said it wouldn't start and run drive start and drive I guess and it would have been nice if they had said hey we know the engine is seized and it will never run no matter what so anyway we're loading it onto the trailer now and we are going to take it to one of the auctions that we frequent um, a couple towns over so here we go <laughs> express to you how handy this remote control winch is it's unbelievable two of us can load up a car in a matter of minutes without breaking a sweat well at least I'm not sweating anyway <laughs> I'm not sweating it was hard work watching you push that button so now it's up on the trailer we will get this thing here tied down and secured to the trailer so we can take it on to the next stop. So we were going to take the Acadia to auction, but then uh, we ran out of time. They close at 2 on Saturdays, and that's the only day that we have to mess with vehicles. So we found another, actually an internet deal that my brother-in-law just used. He had a car guy, and uh, they gave him a decent amount of money for scrap for the thing. What is this internet thing that we... Pedal. Pedal.com. Pedal.com. You uh, enter your vehicle information on there and they give you a quote how much they will give you for your vehicle and then they come and pick it up. So now off the trailer this thing goes and then pedal.com is going to come and pick it up on Thursday.